Now, time and time again, I say exactly the same on this channel. I find some of the most forgiving and best performing golf clubs that I've ever tested, but for some reason, I don't end up putting them in my bag. Now, I used to think it was golf snobbery, but I actually think it's just a refusal to accept that a club that is designed, in theory at least, for a player with less ability than me is actually exactly what I need. And today I'm going to play three holes with a full set of golf clubs that are exactly that category. I think they're superb, I think they're ultra forgiving. I think they're for a player that's got perhaps slightly different requirements than mine. But like I said, I just know I'm going to play well with these things. Now the clubs are all from TaylorMade. It's a full bag that we've managed to get our hands on. They all have graphite shaft. They all have incredibly light graphite shafts, 40 gram in the driver and 40 gram in this iron I'm about to play, which incidentally is a pitching wedge. Go ball, right on it. Have we got the right yardage? Needs to hop forward. Right, two shots, 140 gram driver shaft, 140 gram iron shaft. I am about eight foot for birdie. They also all have shorter shafts than my normal setup. Driver being 44 inches, and it's also got 12 and a half degrees of loft. Right, let's see if we can start off with a birdie. Come on, and. Oh, <laughs> it's horseshoed. Just a bit too firm, I think, right. There's a clue there, because I'm even using the putter from the same set. And the irons in this set are also three quarters of an inch shorter than my standard. All these changes, more loft, shorter length of shaft, they're all designed to do one thing, and that's give a golfer greater control, play more accurate golf, and not be chasing distance, which can be dangerous. That's another super high launching ball. I may be playing from the men's tees right now, but these clubs are in fact tailor-made women's. You've probably spotted it already, they are the Kalea range. And that's not necessarily the bit that is embarrassing in terms of putting these in the bag. It is perhaps more to do with the weight of shaft, and we all recognize this type of thing as perhaps being a senior flex best described. And that's the kind of thing we struggle to accept. Now I know for a fact that in terms of YouTube, it's not just me that has found these clubs super easy to play. I've seen James Robinson's featured them at least two, maybe even three times on his channel. And I've got to admit, going back to them again this morning, does beg some big questions, you know. I've done things recently about lightweight driver shafts. I think we had a 36 gram shaft in a Zexio driver fairly recently and was pretty much blown away by it. I find exactly the same every time I pick these things up, you know. Golf seems to be um, a lot damn easier to play with these lighter shafts, just as long as you consider that tempo issue. Now, one thing you'll also notice with a bag of uh, clubs such as Kalea is there's, there's a lot of head covers. And what I mean by that, we've got a lot of hybrids, we've got a lot of fairway woods, and uh, not as many irons. And that's because yet again, these things uh, get the ball from A to B very effectively, right. We're so far green in reg, fairways in reg. Let's see if we can keep that going. Ah, oh, it's a super strike. I've just got it down the right a tad. It's straight. I'm on a real difficult lie and we've got a nasty bounce over to the right hand side as well. But in terms of picking that up, it was superb. That was a four hybrid, by the way, out of this Kalea range. It's again, 40 light flex shaft. It's the same shaft throughout the bag in terms of weight, which is also really interesting. And they feel exactly the same. There's a huge amount of consistency, whether you've got a wedge in your hand, whether you've got your driver in hand. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now, obviously, I'm not going to start walking around with a set of ladies clubs in the bag. That is, like I said, beyond the embarrassment stage that I'm prepared to go. But the question for me is, um, I'm going to try an A wedge here, by the way. We've come up pin high. My greens and reg stat has also fell off. But the bit for me is this super, super light shaft that I keep on playing. And a question I've got for you that I ask a lot of occasions is, 
I know what you've got in your driver shaft currently, or your iron shaft, because I do ask the question quite frequently, but I'm perhaps more interested in, have you ever tried any other shafts, or is it a case of, when you go for a custom fit or where you buy a club, you go, I'll tell you what, I am a 60 gram stiff driver shaft, I'll order me a new club 60 gram stiff driver shaft, without even contemplating anything else, because I would love that type of golfer, which would have included me, to just go out and try something, maybe even right down to the opposite end of the spectrum, try a 40 gram driver shaft out and see what happens. Anyway, we're gonna to need to make up and down. That's sitting on a tee peg, Jesus. Right, a little dink with the A wedge and release to the hole. I think we've got it a bit heavy, haven't we? We've got it a bit heavy and it wasn't a good shot. Right, we're going to have to use our spider putter and see if we can save a par. Because after the start with a birdie, I really fancied making a good run here. What a terrible chip shot. Fortunately, I don't think I can blame that on the lightweight of shaft, nor the Kalea irons. Can this putter save me? I was a little bit fiery on the first one. See if we can take a little bit off, off the left hand side and break. No, didn't break. Didn't break, still fiery. And I've now left a horrible one to save bogey. Yeah, well, firm and straight. We've got one more hole to play and one over. I want to make birdie and it's a par five and I reckon we can do it, you know. Now, if you missed out on our recent big news video, it was to tell you that we've launched a new channel. It's called Testing the Tips. And I'd love it if you pop on over there and consider subscribing and supporting that channel. Basically, it is me testing tips from fellow golf YouTubers to try and improve my game and hopefully improve yours. Right, shot tracer is on, gloves going on. We've got a par five to finish. It's not an overly long one either. 480 yards. I'm still off those white tees. I've still got a ladies driver in hand. This has been really good so far. Can we finish off? Slow that down a bit. Get that tempo. It's been the main concentration. Right. Oh, so much better. So much better. You know, Let's get that ball landed for Shot Tracer first of all. That's gone a long way as well. The interesting thing is in terms of this head, to me it's very much like the Sim 2 head as well. Thing absolutely fires out there, 12 and a half degrees of loft means it's firing really high as well. I love that kind of ball flight away down there. I almost think there's a chance with these firm fairways that I could possibly get up in two, because I think we've got a five wood or maybe even a seven wood will get there. Right, we've got 210 yards to go. Uh, just a bit over that, it's about 214 I think, but I'm going to use a 7 wood because I reckon if we can land this probably 20 yards short, it's going to make. Keep that tempo good and come on. That's beautiful isn't it? Let's do that. My god the ball fight, I couldn't see that for a minute you know, it's come that high. Okay so we're a bit down, oh we got a nice bounce back in. I'm just hanging on there. I cannot believe that ball flight. It's gone into the clouds. I just could not pick it up at all. Um, and it was slightly left of target, but it has bounded on. We haven't quite made the green, but we're certainly right in amongst the fringe there. And up and down gets me a birdie, which means I'll finish level par with ladies' clubs and 40 gram shafts. Well, do you know what? My eyesight isn't seeing you, even though the flex of my uh, clubs might be very, very soon, because I said we we're in and around the fringe, and that was a good spot down here. Now then. Not really got the pace on this putter right so far, and I'm determined to make a bird here. This needs hitting up the hill and then off the right. Okay, just roll out a bit more for me. That could be really good. Oh, it was getting there. It was getting there. What we're we gonna do, just walk straight up to it. Straight in the middle, do you think? I think that's the plan. There's not a great deal going on with this one, surely. So, for level par, with ladies golf clubs, 40 gram shafts. Come on, and get in. Oh, he's dribbled it away. I cannot believe I missed it. The lesson is take your time and to make sure you get that bit right. But anyway, the lesson from the video was simple, like most of them. 
Anybody who takes things too literally and says that uh, I'm telling people to shift into 40 gram shafts, well, that's not the idea of the video. The idea is, as always, to question what you've currently got and maybe think that uh, it's not quite as embarrassing as you think to shift into something a little bit lighter in terms of both weight of shaft and the flex as well. Because honestly, these are possibly the easiest clubs that I have used this far. They're certainly very, very forgiving. They've got good ball speeds. They encourage a good swing tempo and I feel pretty confident that I could play some decent golf round 18 holes with this full set in the bag. So I certainly wouldn't dismiss this kind of idea. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. You'll give me that one, one over through three. That'll have to be, I'm afraid. See you tomorrow night.